So for us, the, the process begins with the relationship with the farmer. We do most of our buying directly from farmers. Uh, they'll ship their loads by truck. We'll probe those uh, trucks, uh, each and every truck having to stand on its own. We'll assess those oats for quality and food safety aspects. Um, and essentially that first stop at the receiving door is our first chance to apply our quality standards. Once a load has been accepted, it moves along to the process where we, we dump it, we receive it into a, a pit and into a bin. Um, our mill chews through about 420 metric tons of oats a day. Um, the mill runs 24 hours, seven days a week. We receive grain five days a week for about 12 hours a day. So we end up having to receive about 40,000 bushels a day on the average to keep up with our mill's demand. The general process of making food out of oats starts with cleaning the oats and removing any of the impurities. Um, weed seeds, other grains, those types of things. Once that's done, we take the oats through dehullers and remove the husk that covers the kernel inside of that husk. It's called an oat hull. We remove that hull. What's inside is called the oat groat and that's what we make food out of. We take that groat, we put it through a kilning process which stabilizes it, gives it shelf life. And uh, from there, we can then take those groats and separate them, size them into different sizes from which we'll make different products. We make a broad range of products here, virtually anything you can make out of an oat groat. Uh, we package, um, we bag uh, oat bran, oat flour, rolled oats or oat flakes, steel cut oat groats, whole oat groats um, in a range of packaging sizes and types. So through our process, we create three main byproducts. Um, when we clean the oats and remove those impurities, those impurities become a byproduct we call screenings. And when we remove the hulls off of the uh, oat groat, those hulls also are then a byproduct. Both of those um, are primarily used for livestock feed. Uh, the oat hulls can also be used for bedding for poultry barns or uh, dairy barns as well. Uh, the third byproduct we make is sort of a higher end byproduct. It's oat groat fractions and liftings that are aspirated off through various processes. And that's usually used in a pet food application. Our products that are sold as ingredients to food companies find their way into a broad range of foods, including the most uh, obvious options would be hot cereal and ready to eat cereal. Um, but a lot of them find their way into, into granola bars and bake mixes and cookies and bread mixes, all kinds of good stuff um, that, uh, that you can find on the store shelves. Eating foods that contain oats comes with a lot of health benefits. Um, oats are high in a dietary fiber called beta-glucan, which has been proven to be heart healthy. So eating oat foods can really help lower cholesterol. Oats have also been shown to really um, improve satisfaction or satiety after eating. Basically, if you've ever eaten a bowl of oatmeal in the morning and you hear the phrase, they stick to your ribs, that's satiety. It keeps you full longer. So it's really a good option for controlling your appetite and driving weight loss. I think I can speak for, for all of us at Grain Millers. We get excited to come to work and be kind of be an industry leader, feeding people good, healthy foods um, that, that put a smile on our face. We, we like to remind ourselves when we're talking about food safety that we feed babies. And so we take that very seriously and, uh, and control food safety and quality every step of the way.